welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations with leaders in digital infrastructure. I'm Emily Scherer for JSA, and I am joined today by David Morchenek. He is the CEO and co-founder of Airworks. David, thank you so much for being here. It's a big pleasure. Thanks for having me, Emily. Absolutely. So for our viewers who might not know about Airworks, we would love to start just hearing a little bit more about the company. Yeah, absolutely. So Emily, as you mentioned, I'm David Morshening. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Airworks. We're about a seven-year-old company out of Boston. We spun out of MIT that has developed a new technology to use AI to analyze geospatial data to extract information about our physical assets. And so we can use that for all kinds of things. But for the, the telecom space, we help with the fiber deployment. So really with the fiber engineering, planning, and construction, because as we all know, it's super important and, and the demand is very high for all kinds of fiber networks at the moment, right? And so we help our customers map sites a lot faster. So that means we can build on time. And so what that often means is we um, either leverage data that they collect, such as drones, aircraft, satellites, or mobile LiDAR data, and, and then analyze that data using modern technology, um, such as AI and other kind of human in the loop systems, so that we can build, um, yeah, basically a, a walkout process and a make ready process and get just fiber in the ground much faster than, than uh, other companies can do. That's amazing. So you're helping people know where to build as well in terms of like uh, maybe fiber density as well with the technology you're using? Yeah, so we generally start when companies have figured out what their general project is, right? So um, which city they want to build and which homes they will connect. But there's definitely a lot of like, we, we, our data feeds the engineering process if you want, right? So it's, it's a lot of high level design support and, and low level design support that we're going into, right? And yeah. so in the past, you can imagine before you decide where you put fiber, you need to figure out what the homes are, how, how far the cables are going to be, right? Where are you going to bury them? What are the utilities on in, 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 in those places, right? And so that leads to a lot of disruptions and delays in the, pro in the program as well, right? And so we, we really help companies be a lot more smart and more efficient in that, that space and, and move it at speeds they've never, never been able to before. Excellently. Being smarter and more efficient is something <laughs> everybody is after. So great. Yeah. Thank you for that of overview. Course. And this is your first time at Metro Connect. So we'd also love to hear what companies are you hoping to meet with or what are you hoping to get out of this event this week? Yeah, no, I'm super excited about the, the conference. Um, lots of really interesting people here. Lots of really interesting sessions we've already seen. Obviously, fiber and telecom is booming, right? So we're all, I think, very excited and coming off a hype here, right? And so um, it's, it's just great to exchange with uh, other companies, with existing customers as well as new customers, right? And, and learning where the trends are going, right? Data centers is a big topic, but also fiber to the home continues to be strong, right? So we, we uh, yeah, try to find the pockets and, and uh, to develop also our technology to fit the needs of our customers, right? So are they seeing more underground deployments? Are they seeing more aerial deployments, right? And so those are the, the, the kind of things we're trying to answer here. And um, yeah, really being able to shape what we do in, in support of these, these uh, companies um, across the country. Good. It's a great place to have those conversations. You've picked the right location. Um, so tell me, um, Airwork services many industries, including telecom. And um, as you've mentioned, as we know, it's really important to deliver broadband on time. Um, so tell us specifically what Airworks does to ensure successful broadband builds and other ways that you might serve this telecom industry. Yeah, definitely. I mean, really, we started the company with a mission to make geospatial data and digital data of, of the physical world much more accessible, right? Because you can imagine we've, everyone has heard about it. We have drones now, we have LiDAR devices, and, and satellites is a, is a big talk, right, at the moment. And data is just getting so much cheaper, right? Even over the past seven years, I mean, we've lit we literally have a thousand times as much data, digital data of our world, than we've, we've had seven times ago. It's, it's crazy, like a hundred times more satellites than we've had even even 10 years ago, right? right? And so the problem with that, that's super, that's great. That's all very powerful. It's kind of like similar to the trend of, yeah, we're decreasing the cost of, of uh, AI model training, right? But we also, we're trying to do the same thing with, with the geospatial data. It's, it's still very expensive to leverage that type of data because it's always humans that an analyze it, right? Yeah. And so Airworks really um, is, is making that a lot faster and a lot easier, which then should in retrospect help us to, to take better decisions about our world and our physical infrastructure and where we build it and even the even, even kind of um, the condition of such infrastructure, right? And so right. that works in other industries as well as for telecom, right? And and we can imagine that it, it's actually always in all other industries struggle with this, like um, uh, the DOTs as well as the commercial builders, right? Like in getting to design is actually really complicated because we have to deploy people 
on all roads to figure out what's there today. Like there's no database existing that tells us where the gas lines are going. Right, right, there's right. no database existing that tells us where the poles are today. Yeah. Often we don't even know what's on them, right? So we're trying to lever leverage technology to build, to kind of decrease the cost and increase the speed of building that digital replica. So we, we, we can, yeah, we can move faster in designing the infrastructure of the future, if that makes sense. Right. right? Very, very exciting yeah. work. Yeah. And I would love to hear, so what's on the horizon then for 2025? Where do you go from here um, with the data that you're building and the, the great company that you have? Yeah. So, I mean, look, the, I think 24 and 23 for us has been really big in, in building a lot of fiber rod miles. So helping companies build a lot of fiber rod miles. We've, we've done now over um, 20,000 uh, miles all across the country. That's um, and, and supporting the design work. And so that's really in the last two years only, right? So and that's really exciting. Um, I think what we're trying to, and we're kind of adjusting our technology as, as we go. We, we see that mobile LiDAR is getting much more important for like aerial fiber deployments. Um, so trying to map out the pole and the pole network and infrastructure and, and the equipment on it um, to also a lot of companies that are working on replacement of such infrastructure, right? For fiber, the home networks and, and making that more powerful. And so we're really trying to, figure out how our data can be used downstream, right? So how can we digitize the network, but then help help, ma help companies manage that network in a more efficient way than they've ever been able to um, once they know what's on them, right? Once they know where their equipment is, right? And so that's something that we're really looking forward to, to doing more of. Excellent. Well, it sounds like you've had a great growth trajectory so far and lots of great things to come. So thank you so much for joining us today and talking to us on JSA TV. And for our viewers, stay connected and happy networking. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you all. Nice meeting you.